Hey guys, welcome back to, back to my channel. My name is Naz and I am from South Africa. Welcome back to this channel. I'm so, so happy to be taking you along to Amsterdam. I've never been to Amsterdam. It's my first time in Amsterdam. So come and explore Amsterdam with me. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a whole thing. I'm literally so excited. As you've watched the previous vlogs, I haven't been out. I've literally just been on board because I did not have my Siemens book. But now I have my Siemens book and I'm the girly. I'm going to be the girly who's going out. <sighs> Let me see. What does Amsterdam have in store for us? I'm going to show you a couple of things to do in Amsterdam because this girl has been doing research. I have been doing a whole lot of research. I'm just so happy just to be in Amsterdam, just to touch down. So I'll catch you guys when I get outside in Amsterdam. I can't wait. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> the city center and walking distance from the cruise terminal where we were docked uh close to the harbor it was very close to the city center it took me around about 10 minutes to walk around and get to the city center most of the restaurants were closed because the time was around about 9 a.m a very easy walk around just have to keep a lookout for all the bicycles because bicycles again are priority as I was wondering, I found myself in the red light district, a place we often hear about when Amsterdam comes to mind. Out of respect for the workers, I did not film anything, but also you are not allowed to film in the area. hey guys welcome to amsterdam welcome to a new vlog i am so happy to have you back on my vlog today we are in amsterdam 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 super excited to be out i've been waiting for this day this is probably the day that i've just been counting down to so yes we i'm gonna be just walking around nothing major um walking around probably do a boat cruise in between but stay tuned and see what i get up to in amsterdam and i'll give you a couple of tips first thing is first that i've noticed is that you have to be extra careful of the bicycles because bicycles do take priority and yeah it's a whole thing it's a whole thing i'm so happy to be here let's uh let's let's get into it let's get into amsterdam i don't even want to talk that much but let's get into it yeah. Moving past my walk around, I was ready to start sailing through the canal. The best way to be able to see the city and also enjoy the views is actually to do the boat ride. So I came across a lot of ticket stations by the harbor. It was very close by, walking distance five minutes just from the central side. Um, the first one that I came across was a little bit pricey, but also the boat was also closed. If you walk around and check around the places, you are able to actually find different stations that range at different prices. The first one I found was around about 20 euros. I moved over to the second one, which was just right next door. And that one was ranging prices of 14 euros for an open boat, but also better views if you are in an open boat. A little bit of the boat as well was closed. So if you want to get a little bit of cover, if it rains as you're doing the canal, then you are able to get inside the boat. 
as I was planning the day going into Amsterdam, I had checked some tickets online and I found a couple of sites that actually did offer tickets, which were ranging around about $25 to $20 or $30, if I still remember correctly. Good thing I did not book my tickets online because I would have paid extra. You can still buy your tickets online if you prefer and are much more planned and prefer to have your things just before you get there. Here are some things to note about Amsterdam. Official record says there are 165 canals in Amsterdam. There are more than 1,700 bridges in Amsterdam. To compare, that's 1,300 more than they are in Venice. Many of these bridges can open to let tall ships pass. Around 80 of these bridges are located in the historical canal, canal ring. Amsterdam canals separate the city of Amsterdam into 90 different islands. Some locals actually live in house boats on the canals of Amsterdam. There are around 3,000 house boats in Amsterdam. Most of the Amsterdam canals were built in the 17th century during the Dutch Golden Age. The Dutch love to cycle and there are more than 800,000 bicycles in Amsterdam. But some people can be a bit reckless with them. So every year, more than 10,000 bicycles are fished out of the canal.
there's a houseboat just for cats. In a city of canals, living on a boat is far from out of the ordinary. Everywhere you look on a canal cruise, you will see the people of Amsterdam going about their daily lives on the water. But it's not just people that call boats home in the city. The cat boat was founded in the 1960s as a refugee for stray and abandoned cats. <laughs> you might not be able to take one home if you don't live nearby, but the cat boat welcomes cat lovers three days a week so you can still meet and support them. Amsterdam you stand under a tree because where else are you gonna find cover so I'm literally getting cover for like two seconds or maybe five minutes I don't know <laughs> it's pouring it's pouring it's pouring so I just stood under a tree look at this tree this tree is supposed to give me cover cover I need to buy an umbrella. Can I tell you that an umbrella, I saw it for 12 euros. Hmm. 12 euros for an umbrella? I think I should have bought the umbrella. But anyhow, I hope you have enjoyed um, Amsterdam because it's been so much fun. So much fun. A lot of people are coming. 
Well, everybody has an umbrella. I'm still going I'm still going to do this. Look at that. People who have a plan in life, right? With umbrellas. And me standing under a tree waiting for the rain to pass. If it's passing. Probably not passing. <laughs> if this rain can stop now. Okay, this rain is not stopping. It's just going and going. Look at this. It's just going. I don't think it's going to stop. I think I should just brave it out and just go, right? Brave it out and go. Because I don't see it stopping. Oh my god, look at that. Maybe walking in between the streets will make a difference? I have no idea. Okay. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Instagram aside. I say I'm meta in I think I should have stayed in the pancake place. But when I came out, there was like sun. And I was like, wow. <laughs> It looks like it's gonna be warm, but clearly not. The rain is here. Under the tree, cause it's raining. Under the tree. 